some computers don't work always work outside of, out of the box um, with the Arduino software that we installed. So what we have to do is install some additional drivers. Um, not everyone will have to do this, but um, it's good to be prepared just in case. So what you need to do is open your browser and type in FTDI drivers. Okay, so you go to this page, the first page. So you want to um, use the VCP drivers. So you need to download um, the version of the drivers which is correct for you. So um, if you're using Windows, 32-bit, um, um, this one, 64-bit, this one. Again, to work out how to tell if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, you can um, go to um, Control Panel and Open System, and it'll actually tell you 64-bit operating system. So, yeah. So download the drivers. You can actually also download the executable. See down here, I'm downloading both. Okay, if you're using Linux, um, I'm sure not many of you are. You can download the drivers for that, and you're a little bit on your own. Um, if you're using Mac, you can download the, the relevant drivers for Mac as well, um, depending on your device. Okay. So just wait for this to download. Okay, so that's done, it's opening. No, I said it was opening. There we go, it opened. Okay, so we want to extract them. said requested operation requires elevation. That just means um, you need administration privileges. Just click run. So what that means is you actually have to go to where the driver was downloaded and right click run as administrator. So I'm going to go to the downloads folder. Here's my downloads folder. So I right click run as administrator. Click yes, and then click extract. So it worked that time. So it says welcome to the device, device driver installation wizard. Next, I accept, next, it's installed, finished, that's worked. So then when you open the Arduino IDE, it will pick up your board and the COM ports when you plug it in. So that's sort of the main issue we sometimes have. Okay, no worries.